Hi, this is a reading for you. It is not attached to a zodiac sign nor timeline. The intention is if you come across this reading, it should benefit you in some way. If you enjoy it, feel free to like and subscribe. If you want to see the extended version, that is always available on my Patreon, which is the first link in the description below. The Wind of Clarity. A bit more calm, coming out of the shadows. You're starting to listen to your intuition now. You're starting to sort of open up to possibilities. You have found emotional balance. Now, there is something about your commitments or something that, that you can't seem to shake off here. You know, I would say also that if, if someone seems like sort of not present or just um, focused or there's some there's something you're observing around you that I feel like it can either discourage you or it can inspire you. Use this energy to step into a very proactive mode, right? And you have to stop with you know, obsessive worry. Probably get more rest and start to manifest like the nuances of what you want to see, right? What I mean by that is subtle movement. Whether that's something like adjusting your schedule or changing what you wear or um, starting to put in daily steps towards a workout or a vision you have creatively or whatever. Because everything is moving forward whether you like it or not, right? And it's not that you don't like it. It's just that you're feeling sort of blocked. And that is ultimately what needs to be eliminated. There, there needs to be a level of, you know, decisiveness, discernment. Know, know what you want and know what you're doing. Because there's no time for anything else at this point. I feel like you have had a good share of time to contemplate and now it's sort of coming to this point of, you know, what will it be? Door number one or door number two? You know what's interesting to me is this very much shows a, a progress taking place. <clears throat> and it's so cool because, you know, all the cards, we got, well, we have one air card, but, you know, these are all very watery cards. They're all cards of, you know, observing your emotions, self-reflection, um, you know, internal work, exploring things within yourself. And, you know, behind you, it's like you've sort of come to understand all this in a different way. It's suggesting that you have obtained a level of knowledge and understanding of your inner world. And this is granting you strength. This is what allows you to sort of keep going and push through. And, you know, despite how blue and gray everything looks here in this processing, I mean, the sun is here. It's, you know, it's suggesting in the physical world, it is beautiful and bountiful. And you're maybe in that place of finding that truth because ahead of you, we have the Wheel of Fortune accompanied with death. And to me, this is again coming out as the Empress. So this is stepping into a more um, abundant and open, you know, creative frame of mind and letting the sunshine in basically. You know, as I was saying on, I don't know, some other video I did. But, you know, it's time to come up from the underworld. You know, you have passed through the high priestess and now we come to the empress. It's spring, you know, a new birth, all of it. And being very, like, nurturing and, and getting what you want, it is very much a card of Venus. Um, so, you know, maybe embracing some of that energy. Treat yourself, that kind of thing. 
but also the, the, the fire and the drive to get all those extra things. Yeah, this, you know, um, so you might part ways from someone or something. You know, I what is very much indicated here is there's a choice. And And I don't think that there's Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like there may be some element of hostility or uncertainty around you, but in your immediate circles or in your immediate circumstances, I don't necessarily see anything hidden. If anything is sort of hidden from you, I feel like it's in a more detached outside influence. It's not something that's sort of in your everyday life or, you know what I mean? It, it's sort of detached from you. Okay, so what I'll say is this. I'm going to say you, you know, you've already gained a lot of your answers, okay? Um, it's almost sort of suggesting you manifested this, you called this in, you set everything into motion, and now you're just kind of ignoring it or something or you're at this place where you can't make some kind of choice in your life. Um, and you know, it, it, there does seem to be maybe some assess assessment needed, I guess, but ultimately I think that, I guess I would suggest challenging your beliefs, challenging how you do things, um, challenging yourself to grow. And, you know, maybe that looks like not contemplating so hard, not wavering so much, not, you know, considering all aspects, but maybe just start living in a conscious and creative way and see how it flows with you from there. Like, don't try to control or, or maybe not control, but try not to understand it so much, but just flow with it energetically. Because we have to also remember, you know, energetically speaking, right? Um, this has to be dealt with outside of just the intellect. I'm not saying the intellect won't benefit you there, but when it comes to the flow of energies or entities or anything like that, sometimes it's, it's better to not think so much. It's more so like just vibe, <laughs> as funny as that might sound. You know, it becomes an organic and intuitive second nature kind of process. And when we become overly concerned or involved, it can really sort of just block us more than anything. So I'm going to take this a bit further on my Patreon. Again, that is the first link in the description below if you're interested in the extended version of this reading. Um, like and subscribe. Thanks for joining. I'll see you on Patreon.